What is the best processor for music production? What do you need to look out for when choosing the right processor? In this video, I'll talk about the generation of processor Intel versus AMD, the amount of cores, why a fast processor is so important, and much, much more. A seven series processor of the latest generation with preferably as much cores as possible. As you may know, synthesizer plugins, reverb plugins, and analyzers plugins will take up a big chunk of CPU power. So you need a pretty powerful processor. It's the most important thing for music production. The quicker the CPU, the more calculations it can do in a second without having any dropouts or the annoying message in Logic. With CPUs, the number of gigahertz is important. Rule of thumb, the higher the better, because we have limitations in the number of gigahertz a processor can produce, we increase the processing power by adding more cores. A core is effectively another processor in the same shell, that is working side by side by the other processors. So more cores is more speed. But with double the cores, you don't have double the speed. With four cores, you have a good basis for music production. Yay! There are roughly five types of CPUs. In order of processing power in the same generation, the first being the slowest and the last being the quickest. The 3 series, then the 5 series and quicker are the 7 series. Some brands have even a more powerful 9 series and server grade processors. Server grade processors tend to have more cache memory, which makes them quicker. But the server processes are somewhat behind in development, sometimes one or more generations. Because every generation processor tends to be more optimized and thus quicker, it is yet to be seen if a server processor is indeed quicker. Look up comparison graphs on the internet to compare computing power between the specific types of processors. And is the price increase worth the extra speed? Well, most of the time not. What is cache memory? Cache memory is also important for speed. Cache memory of a processor is the fastest memory there is. If a processor can find repeated tasks in the cache memory, it doesn't have to go to the slower RAM memory. In other words, the bigger the cache of a processor, the quicker the CPU. 10th gen, 11th gen, gen 19th gen, 20th gen, processor what should i choose well i say choose the most recent processor because or uh, it has less security issues or it's faster and one thing those turbo boost frequencies are more a marketing term than anything else with turbo boost you can boost your frequency for a short amount of time and that is useful for opening a website for example but not for music production you don't take advantage of that you ask a constant amount of computing power of your processor. AMD or Intel? Well, that's an excellent question. At the moment, AMD is king when it comes to speed. However, AMD makes an implementation of an Intel processor instruction set. But I have to say, the compatibility improved tremendously over the last few years, but I heard rumors of some MIDI controllers not working and some plugins not working. So I asked uh, producers specifically which plugins and which MIDI controllers are not working, but I got no real answers. Thunderbolt on AMD is still a little bit problematic because it's Intel technology. So I asked you in my community tab here on YouTube, did you experience compatibility problems if you have an AMD processor? 32% said yes, compatibility problems no said 68%. I also asked for examples in the comments, but I got no tangible examples, regretfully. Should you invest in a bigger processor or in more memory? Well, invest in a bigger processor because a processor you can't exchange later and you can with memory in most cases. And memory becomes cheaper down the line, so it makes more sense. But there is one catch. If you have an Apple computer, you can't exchange memory or add memory later. So in that case, then invest heavily in memory when you buy one. But what about how much memory you really need? 
Or if you want to buy a laptop, what should you look out for? Well, I compiled a playlist right here with all valuable information about the best computers and best laptops for music production. If you want to buy a computer or a laptop, definitely check that one out.